Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am back with another video. I am taking a, a little break from the little pregnancy update because I recorded how I DIY this fluted table. And I promised you guys that I would record it for you guys. So stay tuned for the tutorial. It is really cute, pretty simple. Did it myself, figured out how to do everything. Um, I bought the table for $40 on OfferUp. So the key is to find a table that is already the shape that you want it. So I wanted a drum table. If you are trying to do what I did in this video, look for conference tables. They're already shaped that way. That's what I looked for on um, OfferUp and I got it for 40 bucks. Um, and then I just went and bought the wood pieces which were a little bit more expensive than I thought but definitely still turned out way cheaper than if I were to go and purchase a table like this from CB2 or wherever. They're like a couple thousand dollars. So um, definitely worth it. Spent maybe a total of like 300, around 300. So anyway, stay tuned for the tutorial. I literally can't breathe. Oh. Don't take it off. I have two. Alright, we're ready to sand. all done in about one or two days but I've kind of just been spreading this out um, today I'm going to be bleaching the table I sanded it a couple days ago we are going to be using this wood bleach there was another one that I wanted to use that seemed a little bit easier and better but they were sold out everywhere so this bleach I'm literally just following directions I've never done this before I've watched a few different videos but either do death brightening bleaching or just like cleaning the wood so we're definitely going to be doing bleaching and then what it says to do is I bought these little you know buckets from Home Depot and it has the little measurements to kind of make it easier so it's just the top surface of the table so I don't need too much so you could either pour this entire thing in and then dissolve it in one thing of hot water or one gallon of hot water but I don't need all that so it says about three ounces which is a generous teaspoon tablespoon and you need to mix it in one quart of hot water so I'm just going to fill up the water to one quart and dissolve one teaspoon of the bleach and definitely because I'm pregnant I am doubling up on my and 95 mass I got my gloves and I have my goggles so definitely gonna be doing that I'm gonna pour the solution and I'll be right back all right so the solution it's not actual solution it's actually kind of like bleach like powder bleach and so I'm gonna take a tablespoon of this throw it in here and put some hot water I just have this little scrubby sponge and this is what I'm going to be applying the bleach onto the table with. force coat of this stuff I definitely feel like it's getting like a little bit lighter but it's not like white how I want it 
So I'm gonna try a few more times. If not, I'm gonna just do a little whitewash thing. Change of plans. The bleach is not working. Um, talk to a friend. He says that mahogany is probably one of the hardest to bleach. There is some better bleach solution, but it's gonna take like two weeks to get here and I don't really wanna wait that long. So, so what I'm gonna do first is, I showed you that I have this Venetian paint and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a layer of this milk wash paint and then I'm going to finish it off with the stain. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it is. This is original and this over here is what it looks like. It's kind of blurry. There you go. And this is what it looks like with the whitewash milk paint. But this is literally what it is. It's water and my Venetian color, plaster color paint. It's literally just paint, but it's called Venetian plaster. All right, so this is what I'm doing. I'm doing little by little. You paint it, it literally looks all white like that. And it dries pretty quick, so you have to move pretty fast. Because what I don't want is to have streaks like that dried out. All right, then I get my sponge that's all wet with water and I wipe it down and spread it. And I wanted to just point out the reason why I'm using a wet sponge is because I don't want any of these brush strokes to show there. So that way when I do the top coat tomorrow, none of the red will sh shine through. For the next step, I purchased this gold brushed vinyl from Amazon. And I got it because it was waterproof. It was for the stuff that I use when I make cups and it's pretty durable. So I figured that it would be great on this. All you need to do is stick it on there and you have to do this part very carefully because you wanna make sure that there are zero bubbles um, at the end of it. As you can see, it definitely looks like a bottom metal piece. And this is exactly the look I was going for. Okay, so the three things that you're gonna need for this step is a 24 inch leveler, a staple gun, and your half moon sticks. So I purchased this 24 inch leveler from Home Depot just to make sure that I'm laying the sticks perfectly straight. So I lay a little bit of glue on the back of each stick and these sticks are about one inch thick and they are called half moon sticks. My sticks are about 24 inches long and I want to start them about 3 to 4 inches from the bottom of the table so you can see my metal bottom. Okay, so for the next 60 sticks, I just repeat the process, make sure every single stick is laid on straight. So I use my nail gun on the bottom of the stick and at the very top of the stick. So quick tip for you guys, I also use a leveler on the very bottom of the sticks so that way I know that the sticks are laying out evenly throughout the table. All right, so far, done with the slats. So I purchased some white wood putty because I knew that I was going to be bleaching the wood white and it would match a little bit better. I am just applying it with my finger and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with a towel. This part was actually really easy. I just had a damp towel and it took off all the excess um, putty. 
For my very last step, I am doing exactly what I did for the top of the table and making some milk paint. I did maybe about half a cup of paint to a cup of water. And what I do is I wipe it down every stroke with a damp cloth. So again, if you missed the first part of the video, I am just gonna paint the milk paint on and then I'm going to take my sponge and wipe it through the wood. Okay, one thing that I did forget to show is that I did finish off this table with a nice matte finish. videos make sure to thumbs this up um, and I'll see you in the next video bye guys